Hello guys, you now join me a few days later and it's raining, fantastic. It's not forecast to rain and it's just actually starting to get a fair bit heavier. That's actually, that's a downpour, that is a downpour. It's not meant to rain today, that's very annoying. And I was meant to do this the other day and it rained on that day as well. Uh, and yesterday, uh, the car wouldn't start, that's a long story. Uh, so yeah, this job just really isn't going to plan. Um, now, I will admit, last time I did get a little bit flustered, I did turn into a little bit of a, of a whiny little bitch because I just couldn't get the, uh, the brake hoses done. So yes, you now join me about two weeks later on a rainy Sunday. Um, as you can see, I'm getting quite wet. Well, hopefully you can see I'm getting quite wet, but anyway, let me stop whining. So, we are now doing the rear brakes. Now, uh, just an update, I, I haven't done the brake lines yet because I couldn't get the, well, at the time I was calling it a fork piece, but uh, I think the actual better phrase for it is a hose clip. That rain is really beating down. Um, so yes, so on the rear brakes, as you can see, the car is jacked up. Um, so first thing we're going to do, just give these um, bolts a bit of a clean got a brake cleaner here my last brake cleaner actually broke i had to get uh, some new one from halford so i had to get a little bit of an exchange so just spray the bolts give them a nice scrub now just quickly the last bit of the video you would have seen me use copper grease now i've done some research online and copper grease appears to be a little bit of an issue of contention and what I mean by that is a lot of people say not to use it for this kind of job um, but I did ask the guy in Halfords and he said it would be fine for this and I also contacted uh, Miata Mods um, you may have heard me re reference his channel in the last bit of my video and I said to him look I've used copper grease is that okay as opposed to using uh, a different product and he said it was fine he said it's not the best product but for what I need it for and for what I want it for, it should work fine. So as you can see, I'm just giving the bolts a bit of a clean, the nuts, well not the nuts, but the bolts. So how you do the rear brakes is different to how you do the front brakes um, because you have an Allen key, which you have to wind um, the piston back on the caliper. Let's see how awkward this is going to be. Uh, apologies, I can't show you guys because I've only got one pair of hands. So how on earth am I going to get that out? That's right. That's Would it help turning the wheels? Oh, you can't, sorry. You can't turn the rear wheels, I you know, numpty. I was just checking if you knew. Right, I haven't got a lot of space to operate right here. Don't hurt yourself. And that, might need, that might need a bit of WD-40 because that doesn't want to move for love nor money. Right. Obviously, be careful where I spray this. Oh, 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 tighter than a rabbit's, you know what. <laughs> you guys can't see, but in the background, my dad's uh, driving off in my Ibiza. He's gonna get some plants from home base. I I'm sure you guys really wanted to know that. See you later, dad. It's weird seeing someone else drive your car. Do you know what, it makes you realize though, how- Did you hear that the exhaust kind of burbled yeah, then? That, just, that car actually sounds quite good from the outside. Right. So apologies, I'm, I'm not giving you a lot of angles, but as I said in the uh, first part of my video, this is not a how-to guide, more of a vlog. I can um, over you with the little camera. Oh, but I bet you could. <laughs> promises, promises. So I have undone, undone that bolt there, which I think was uh, redundant because I think it needs to be. Now I'm gonna try and show you the best I can. I think it's actually this one, uh, my hand-eye coordination is woeful. Wo woeful? Woeful, sorry. I think it needs to be this one here, or perhaps, let's see, let's, let me move my hands out of the way. Common auto, auto focus, you can do it. I can't really touch the camera, because uh, I'm gonna get, get it mucky, well, I can't touch the screen. It will, it's trying to auto focus on something. In the, the screen? That's fine. So you've got two bolts here. So I think, let's see. It's going to be one of these. I think it's going to be this one here. So uh, this will be a bit of uh, experimenting. Uh, but yes, I'm now going to undo that bolt. That is a, also a 14 millimeter. Turn that camera off and put it somewhere safe. 
away from my grubby little hands. Right, so, okay, I haven't got a lot of space to move in there. Plus the, um, the ratchet is, is catching on one of the rubbery bits for the handbrake cable. So, because I don't want to split it, I will just put uh, a little extension on. Just take it off. Okay, hopefully this is the one. Oh, that looks good to me because, yes, ha 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 ha, I'm getting there. So you've got like a little cap, a little cover, and you should have a washer on there, which I do. So I can't get it off. Yes, yeah, so you've got a washer on there. If you haven't got a washer on there, I'd recommend putting one on because it just helps to uh, seal things up. So, so yes. So that is the cap. Then we pop that in a safe place. Now I should be able to get the iron key. Now I'm working in the right place. Right, so let me just show you on my, on my little camera before I uh, set about struggling. So in here, as you can see, I just touch the screen like so you'll see that's the little bit I need to take out just in the middle of your screen there. Um, so yes, so that's what needs to be removed or unwound. Um, so I'm gonna stop the recording for the time being so I don't just use up battery or, or, um, or space on my, on my memory cards for no reason. And I shall uh, rejoin the action in a bit. Right, so that actually wasn't quite as fiddly as it turned out to be. Just as long as you apply patience, Tell you what, this is a godsend. It's about five quid from Halfords. It's not very large, but for what I need it for, it's big enough. It's not the size of what you do with it. That little bit in the middle of your screen here, that's what I'm taking out, so. There we have it. So again, make sure you put that in a safe place, because you're pretty screwed if you don't have it, so. I shall pop it there with the, ah, don't run away. Okay, so that's now off. Um, and then let's see, what else do we have? You have a bolt at the bottom, which has got this kind of funky cap on it. So that, that just simply pops off with your hand, so you don't need any special tools or anything for it. And then down here, you've got a 10 millimeter um, bolt, which needs to be undone. Where's my 10 millimeter? Now this one is a bit awkward. So I've got uh, like a like a flex seat attachment on my ratchet. There's this bolt here at the bottom, which is uh, 10 millimeters. So this is the, uh, this will be the slide, uh, the slider pin for the bottom part of the caliper. So that's what I'm currently doing. Okay, needs a bit more. Slow and steady wins the race. And there we have it, it's a boy. Fantastic. So, one slider pin out. Put that on the side, I will give it a clean in a few moments. Actually, let me do it now. I know what I'm like, I will forget to do it. So, just give it a quick clean. And I will give it um, a bit of grease once I slide it back in. No, please don't sing grease. I can't stand grease. And now the caliper should now be able to lift up like so. And slide out. Ugh. Just be careful how you do it. You don't want to damage anything. Oh, ouch. Right, just rest that to the side, somewhere where it won't fall down. 
Okay, just pop it there. So there's quite a lot left on these pads. But as I said um, at the last part of my video, the reason for changing them is I've got some you know, better pads and discs and they've been sat in my flat for about a year now. Uh, so it really is about time I change them. The disc was rather tricky to get off and it did need a fair amount of encouragement to get it off, but in the end, I got there. It's fine, I've got it. It did take a bit of encouragement to get this disc off, but as you can see, I now have it off. So, start um, cleaning bits. So let's just clean this assembly here. Just move this cardboard across so I'm not getting stuff on my dad's drive because I've got brake fluid on my dad's drive last time yeah he wasn't best pleased but I don't blame him especially when I told him no I won't get any fluid on your drive dad it's fine it's all good yeah so just give us a, a little clean I think there's a uh, wire brush has seen better days, I've better used it. So I only bought it new the other day. And um, yeah, <laughs> the end of it looks like a fur ball. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, right. So we have the new discs looking very shiny. Just give the uh, disc a once over. Don't get any on your, they're your gym trousers. It's only brake cleaner. Could you use, use my hands to be fair, but being like the artist in me. Oh, I've just thought, you, do you know what you really need to do? You need to put like the old smart music they used to play over when they were doing something. You know, like, how's it go, that? I, I can't, because it's copyrighted now. I could sing it for you, how's it go? Do do do, do do do, do 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 do. Yeah. Oh damn. Burn. You know, I think I missed my calling in life. Maybe I should have been an artist. I'd probably make it probably make a better artist artist than a mechanic. That'll do. Oh, just cut myself. Obviously trying not to get any on the actual, um, the points that make contact with the disc, because you don't want greasy brakes. That would be um, pretty disastrous. And I wouldn't recommend it. With the pads on, it was time to get the caliper back on but this was a bit tricky as it simply wouldn't fit over the pads. After a lot of faffing about from yours truly, it turned out that I hadn't quite wound back the piston far enough. Once that was done, the caliper was ready to be slid back in its place. Once back on, you need to wind the adjustments back up until you are unable to rotate the brake disc. Once done, unwind it by three quarters of a turn, which should allow you to move the disc a little bit. Now it's time to do the same for the other side. After that, I had another stab at the brake lines. Great fun, yes. Great fun, indeed, said nobody. I was so focused on what I was doing, so I didn't really talk through what I was doing. So I would definitely recommend looking at another YouTube video which offers much better advice and instruction for this job. I did get further than I did last time, but I couldn't get the new line to sit properly and they wouldn't line up how I needed them to. I'll admit, with more patience, I reckon I would have done it, but I just found this part annoyingly fiddly, so I did the honourable thing and gave up. Nah, it's just no good. Now I've wasted too much time on this, I'm starting to waste far too much brake fluid on this, so I think I'm going to have to put the original line back on and um, not fit the um, stain stainless steel lines, which is a bit of a disappointment, and it's just wasted time, but hey ho, these things happen. After that debacle, it was time to bleed the brakes, which was thankfully an easy and pretty quick job. Once done, it was time to put the wheels back on and to wrap up. 
So the job is pretty much done. In the end, I didn't do the brake lines um, because, to be honest, it's just stressing me out too much and just taking up too much time. Um, so yeah, all the uh, pads and discs are now on and the brakes have been bled. So jobs are good and to me. So yes, as you can see, well, you probably can't see, but uh, not, the day is starting to fade um, and it is, I don't even know what time it is. What, what is the time? I don't know, okay. But it must be like half six, seven p.m. So yeah, it has been a long day. Uh, and I know some of you watching will go, how did it take you so long, so long to do a relatively simple job? But uh, yeah, I'm not the most talented guy with the spanner and there have been a, a few problems and there was a heavy downpour earlier so I kind of had to, kind of had to stop. Anyway, that's me done. I think I've earned a nice cup of tea, or even better, a nice cold beer. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If so, give it a massive thumbs up. If you are subscribed, don't forget to click that bell icon so you get notified every time I make a video. And if you aren't subscribed, guys, what are you waiting for? Be sure to subscribe for more Car Obsession.